Hey guys, what's going on? Butter Biscuit here with a little bit more uh, no Moria, but this time we're actually gonna throw uh, throw me for a little loop here, uh, two different ways. I'm actually going to be playing uh, Goblinoria, so I'm actually the goblins instead of the gnomes. Um, I don't really care for as anybody who watches any of my playthroughs uh, conflict. I don't really care for uh, the added pressure of um, having you know, enemies come and fight me, so I won't have any enemies, so the, the gnomes won't be showing up this time, but I'll be playing as goblins. Uh, it's basically the same base mod. I have uh, one called Strong Start put in, but the other twist that I'm throwing at myself is that we are going to be playing with hills. I don't particularly like them. When I first got this game, I didn't enjoy the game at all because of hills. Uh, that was because I had no idea what I was doing, and the hills were really annoying. But since then, I have learned to do quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and challenge ourselves. Uh, a, a viewer said, hey, it would be really cool if you did this because you could build like balconies and whatnot. And I think that that is a very fair and valid point. So I think it would be pretty cool because it would just naturally, I'd be able to build into a mountain um, and I would be able to have, you know, as I you know, just mentioned, balconies and whatnot. So it looks like what we're going to do is be building our main base on this big mountain right here. Um, and just kind of basically what I'm looking at is giving each gnome their own floor. Uh, and then so my gnomes that are starting out, or goblins, sorry, starting out now will get the really cool top floors. And they'll be able to build these balconies. And as I get further into the base levels, I will go to different mountains as well. And they'll be able to have their own uh, with little balconies and whatnot. So it'll be really cool. Um, but that's for the future. For now, we're going to settle up, uh, settle up, uh, set up our humble little, um, you know, farms and whatnot. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, since this is a little bit different than I've ever had to do before, we're going to go start uh, digging and it's going to basically be the same thing that we've always done. Um, dig stairs down, and we're going to go and do that. And we're going to kind of keep it into a tight little knit area. I haven't decided, but I'm thinking about putting the workshop over into this mountain and kind of having it, like, try to be an all-indoor in the mountain workshop. So I think that would be really cool. And then, obviously, it will continue down. But uh, before we can really do that, we're going to need materials and setting up our farms and everything. So we're going to go ahead and just start um, getting some materials. That's for dirt. Later on in the levels, I won't dig out so much. Um, and once all this kind of gets going, we'll be good. But we also need to replace the soil floor. Uh, so i got to get rid of all this clay. Um, clay is probably the single most annoying thing in this whole game for me. Because every time you start a new game, you got to sit here and find all the little clay blocks and get rid of them so you can grow some farms, put some pastures, and it's just annoying. Good news is I've uh, stopped being so stubborn, and I'm willing to replace the, uh, or set up farms as I'm replacing the clay floors. Uh, but for me personally, I just wish I didn't have to even replace the clay floors. But that's not an option. So, um... For farms and everything, we're just kind of looking to uh, get... Um, they're just falling asleep on the floor. Yeah, they're just falling asleep on the floor. Looking to get the farm set up in a in 100 spaces somehow. Um, I'm really hoping that's just saying they're falling asleep on the floor, because that I'm okay with. Anything else I'm kind of not okay with. Um, but it, yeah, the goblins are pretty cool. I like that. The, the goblins are pretty cool. All right, let's dig a hole down, and then we'll dig a hole down, and then we'll dig another hole down, and then another hole down. We'll go to negative, go to negative 15 or so. And this will kind of guarantee that we'll get some stone and stuff, so then we can go ahead and start digging walls. Here, just kind of get that going. Get some stone in. Yeah, I get it. You guys are falling asleep on the floor. It's really not that big a deal, guys. All right. 
I think I'm done foraging, so now I just need to set up uh, farms. So let's go ahead and do farms first. Do a little 10 by 10. That'll get us. We're going to do like three strawberry farms. <laughs> so 10 by 10. I won't ever really be able to, to wait there for them to uh, get that well underway. I really need all these trees removed. Uh, that's really just what I need. We'll do pasture. That's not what I wanted at all. But you know what? We'll go ahead and do a wheat farm over here. We'll do another 10 by 10 wheat farm. And we're going to, honestly, I think I'm just going to do like four strawberry farms. Um, we'll get the pasture set up, though. Let's get the pasture set up maybe over here. Kind of a maybe pretty big one, I guess. Yeah, we won't do it over there. Let's do it. Is there any other like flat area? Because we could do it like here. Yeah, see, it doesn't go down. I don't like that. Um, I don't know where I want to set it up now. Sure, maybe over here. Yeah, we'll do it over here. Ten by ten. And alpaca max males will be one max females will be ten and then we'll do an alpaca twelve by twelve over here and then we'll do alp butch yeah this one's yeah and then maybe a little, do another one over here, but for yaks, 11 by 14, yaks, and we will do this one, we need a nine, one, more yaks, right, another yak pasture, Six and this one could be yak attack, but yak butcher. So I can kind of know what's going on, and then we'll do a little emu one. We do fourteen, so that's good. No, nope, 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 nope. Thirteen, and then really, well, let me type that one, and then we'll do another emu one right here. Kind of crazy mounts. Like how it cuts into the other so and I think that'll be good 36 and that'll be emu butch alright that's all set up um let's go back to setting up some farms get another 10 by 10 going we'll get that to be strawberry Another <laughs> strawberry farm going. We'll wait on that. Actually, we'll do that one over here. Strawberry. It's going to be so janky right now. I might have to just like obliterate it and kind of bring it all back together. Um, if if I, if it drives me too insane, I'll have to do that. Strawberry. Okay. And then we'll set up another farm over here with grapes. And our last farm will be over here. It's going to be cotton. Boom, boom. Uh, I'm not really going to prioritize it. I'm just going to assume that they'll be able to get me enough food. Obviously, I can't guarantee that they'll be able to get me enough food, but I'm just going to assume that they will. Um, that being said, what I'm going to start doing is digging uh, mine a hole. Basically going to... Build an entrance here into this mountain. And then we want to keep this wall up, so we gotta make sure that we're mining correctly, so to speak. So the reason that we're keeping this wall up is so that they can climb to the next floor without me having to build ramps or anything. So if I keep the wall up, 
um, I won't have to build a ramp, which is pretty much exactly what I want. Um, basically, you can only cut out the gray, and you'll be fine. Unless, of course, we mine too far on one side, and then they'll, they'll be brown as well. So now, I'll be able to set up my workshop in here, um, and I'll be able to go up and down, obviously, if I want to. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. And this is actually going to be our dormitory. So that'll be pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm liking this idea so far. Uh, as I said, when I first got the game, I had no idea what I was doing. So I was very resistant to uh, trying anything else out. I didn't like the idea of having to um, mine into a mountain or anything. Um, I, any any of my playthroughs that you might watch, um, I like everything very uniform one way. So for me to uh, do this is pretty crazy. Uh, I don't not. It's very different for me. Um, let's go ahead and get the dormitory set up here. Um, we'll just kind of go like that, and then what we're gonna do is build furniture uh any bed i guess straw bread we'll just get a few of these set up that way they have somewhere to sleep um somebody will come and build those in a second no i didn't want that bed there oh well whatever it's all messed up now i don't feel like replacing it so they'll come and build some beds soon ish um what did I set up over here? Uh, wheat. Right, right. Actually, I should probably... Don't... How many wheat ones did I set up? Ah! Two? Okay, we'll be fine. Yeah. <clears throat> and these farms are just crazy. I've never set up farms with these giant gaps in between, but I think I'm just gonna leave them for now. Um, um, hopefully they build the beds. That's what they're supposed to be doing. But let's go ahead and build a crude workbench, set up a sawmill, set up a carpenter, and set up a stone cutter. And last but not least, a stone mason. Just kind of get everything over there. I don't know, my builders won't probably go do that until they've replaced all the floors, so we can go ahead and wait on that. It's not that big a deal. Um, I believe there's only a few more tiles they have to set up anyway. Um, and then we'll be good. They'll do the beds and so on and so forth, but it looks like we have everything planted. So these ones will get the last strawberry seeds, so... Yeah, so far, so good. Not too bad. Um, a lot better than I uh, kind of had anticipated, but yeah. Um, and then we're going to start building into... Uh, and won't... Well, that's going to be a tough one, because I don't really want to... Like, I don't want to replace the walls of the mountains, because I think they're pretty cool. Um, but... I like because I want I want them to but I want them to have their own wall. So I'm gonna basically have to build a door in, and then I'm gonna have to replace the walls on the inside with new walls, and those will be their walls. It's like these really cool like it's they're gonna have interior walls, but the exterior walls are gonna be the dirt still. So I'm 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 really excited about this. Um, I kind of want to do metal. Um, so it might be a while before I actually start getting some rooms built. So I might go ahead and build some other rooms for other people. And then once I get into like these big air, like these big ones, I can cut this in half right here and give, or maybe even four times. So when I get to these ones, I mean, I'll be able to build some huge amount of rooms in this. Um, and then obviously some of them will get balconies. Some of them won't like this guy right up here. I could build a balcony, you know, out looking over the whole thing and kind of just have a little balcony come out. Just, it's going to be pretty exciting. 
So I'm I'm a little uh, I was a little nervous starting this, thinking about this, but now that I, it's kind of starting, it's actually pretty exciting for me. So, um, well, it is getting dark. I don't think I've ever seen it get dark like this. It's a new level of dark. No, oh, I like it. What are you doing? Oh, I don't have. Oh, I gotta set up my. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. So I gotta set up. I gotta set up my groves. So I didn't even think about this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's do a little. Where am I even gonna do this? Up here, maybe. Go ahead and start. Let's just go crazy. Let us. All these trees. Okay, now no, let's forage. Okay, if I do this, will it do other levels? Yes. Okay, we're just gonna forage the entire map, and then we're going to fell trees on the entire map. And then when I feel like that is done, then I will start setting up that. I totally forgot. I'm gonna need to get wood. That is insanity. All right, guys. Well, I think I set up pretty much everything so far. We will be taking a look as it gets closer um, in terms of what I might actually be able to get accomplished. Um, so far, it's pretty crazy to me, um, but I enjoy it. It's a it's a big challenge. It's a new new direction for me. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please like, comment, or subscribe. That would be awesome. I hope you guys have a good one. Hope you have a biscuit.